Hi, I'm Paul Weber, President and CEO of Family Policy Alliance. I'm joined by Kansas Governor Sam Brownback. Governor Brownback, it's great to be with you. Hey, good to join you, and uh, thank you guys for what you guys do. Your work is really important in this state. Well, thank you, and your work has been exceedingly important in this state. I understand that just a month ago you signed your 17th piece of legislation protecting life. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, and actually it's the 18th, not to be a, a technically Thank technical you on you, but yeah, and it, it, I'm just really pleased about it because this last one was another one of those first in the nation types. It was saying that you can't put a do not resuscitate order on a child's chart without the parents knowing and parents being informed. You're thinking, why do you have to have legislation on that? But somebody had actually done that. This was a child that, that had genetic defects, uh, difficulties, I shouldn't say defects, but difficulties, and they put a do not resuscitate chart. The hospital did, and mm -hmm. the parents didn't know about it, so we said you can't do that legally, and that's the sort of thing we've got to con constantly do to protect life, and we want to be out there protecting life, and particularly the most vulnerable. And Governor, you have been very bold on the issue of life, and it has been a beacon to the nation for sure. Let's talk a little bit about something else. You've worked so hard on this issue here in the state, only to see some courts do some things to overturn some of that stuff. Let's talk a little bit about activist courts and your perspective on that. Every, almost every piece of pro-life legislation we've done has been challenged in court. And often we will lose at the district court level, the lower court level, and we'll win it on appeal. But they just keep going on and on about the litigation. And right now we have in front of us in the Kansas Supreme Court a lawsuit uh, saying you cannot ban dismemberment abortions because the Kansas Constitution, not the federal constitution, the Kansas Constitution guarantees a right to an abortion in the Constitution. That's in front of the Kansas Supreme Court. And you're just going, there's nothing there about abortion. And we're talking about dismemberment abortions, but that's another example of a court case that you constantly are fighting on life issues. That is the thing. This is where the people of America and Christians can really take a stand in those important retention elections. And that's why Family Policy Alliance of Kansas is here to make aware, make aware of what these judges are doing so that during those critical retention elections, we can have a voice in those things. And that's the time to do it. Mm -hmm. That's the way the system is set up, and, and people, when they look at it, they need to know. I, I think a lot of people, they look at the courts and they're, they're hoping for just this independent, uh, not biased or partisan body at all. And unfortunately, what you've seen evolve, particularly on these key social issues, is just a big divide in the judiciary and in the type of people you put on the judiciary about how you solve these most complicated, difficult issues in this society. That's why presidential races become so important. That's why a Neil Gorsuch going on the Supreme Court instead of somebody that Hillary Clinton would have been appointed. But it's still frustrating to me that you would have that level of divide and the court would be that active in this field, in a field that should be left to the legislative bodies. Certainly so. The founders wanted the judiciary to be the weakest branch of government and they've turned out to become the most the strongest form of government turn the corner one more time state sovereignty versus perhaps the federal overreach we're seeing this more and more where states are working hard to do great things in the states only to have the federal government try to usurp their authority. Speak to that as a governor. Well, it's been very frustrating mm -hmm. you know, because you do something in a state and you know the way the system is designed. Yes is that the states are supposed to have general authority and the federal government limited authority. That's mm -hmm. the way the system was designed. It was designed that way so that the, the states would be the ones out here doing most of the things and the federal government would stick to their lane, mm -hmm. providing for the common defense, doing patent law, you know, doing these series of things that are listed in the Constitution, mm -hmm. and then the states would have general authority. And instead, it's almost gone backwards, mm -hmm. where you've got the federal government doing everything and limiting what the states can do in many fields. And I, I always think when you have a system trying to do what it's not designed to do is you're going to get problems. And that's what we've had taking place, a lot of problems. It's not going to work. Governor, Doesn't thank work. you very much for your stand. Thank you for being a statesman. And thank you for being here tonight, Family Policy Alliance of Kansas. God bless you, sir. God bless you.